Chinese musician from Minneapolis, Minnesota, up in the tundra. Started making music. Um, it was my senior year of high school, and I had been writing music for probably like four or five years, kind of just secretly without telling anybody. And one other dude in my high school at the time put out a song, put out a rap song, and everyone was going crazy over it. And I was sitting kind of, I was like that kid in the corner sitting like, dang. That was my, that should be me, type, type stuff, so uh, eventually I got the courage to hit him up and be like, yo, I rap too, um, like, is there any way that, that you could help me record a song or something like that, so he hooked me up with the studio, uh, long story short, we started working together and fast forward, like, four years, we're living together now, so, um, like, pretty crazy how stuff works out like that, but... I think having that uh, kind of that circle around me to push each other and to motivate each other um, and really hold each other accountable in what we're working on and in music in general and in life in general too. Um, I think that that was huge and, and that's kind of how I got to start. So. As an artist, I think we're inspired all day, every day. I think that there's random moments of inspiration that come to an artist in general uh, throughout the day, whether they're a musician or a painter or a photographer or anything. You'd be walking down the street and um, something could pop in your head or maybe you see something and it inspires you in the moment. And for me, that's been a huge player in what inspires me to write um, my songs. So, for example, um, I could be sitting in class and I see something or I'm learning about something that inspires me and I come up with a line or a melody in my head and I'll literally take out my phone and I'll write it down in the middle of class just so I don't forget it or I'll, or I'll do a little voice and I'm going to my phone. Um, and it's stuff like that that I think is really important as an artist to uh, recognize those moments um, and capitalize on them. I think a lot of times people draw a gap in between their passions and their work. Um, you know, you're passionate about music, but you're working in business and you can't combine the two. Um, and that's been something that I've been learning over the last few years is, yeah, I'm studying marketing and finance and that side of things, but I'm also at the same time working on music. And it was like, dang, like, which path should I take? Which way should I go? Um, and it wasn't until kind of recently that I started to learn that, you know, there doesn't have to be that line, like you can bridge that gap. And there's a lot of different ways to bridge that gap for whatever your passion is and whatever your line of work is. Um, so for me, with music and marketing, there's a ton of, there's a ton of uh, relation between those two. And so looking at putting out music and looking at uh, things I've learned through my classes in marketing, um, in order to apply them to how to promote music, how to brand yourself as an artist. So over the past probably six months, been working on a new album. Um, the last time I put out a project was over a year ago now. Um, so it's been a it's been a long time for me. I'm a fast worker and that type of thing. So been working on the new album. Super excited to eventually put it out sometime in the spring or summer this year. Um, but it's definitely my best work. I think that that's super important for me. Anytime I put out new music or a new project, I want it to be my last. I want it to be better than the last to the point where you look at the last and say like, dang, that's not even that good to be honest. And so um, that's the goal for this project. Super excited about it. Um, and it's coming soon. I don't want to miss the comment when it goes by. Hey, show me where my future and my goals lie. Finding it is different than just knowing where it isn't. I got confidence as high as Himalayas. I'm the greatest. It don't matter what the game is. Cause a winner, that's what Trey is. Patient leader, waiting game is chaos. Craziness, embrace it. Paying my the pain is God. We playing odds like we in Vegas. I got the force with me. I got the swords with me. 